In our news headlines, drinking water in Mississippi's capital city is running dry. Jackson's water system has finally failed amid flooding and long-standing water treatment plant problems. And now the city is scrambling to supply safe water to their 150,000 residents. Today, President Joe Biden approved an emergency declaration to address the crisis. State officials also say that they are bringing in more tanks to distribute water. Meantime, people are forced to rely on bottled water, which is quickly running low. Now, with the severity of the situation in Jackson, some wondered, could something like that ever happen here? Fox Lines' Karen Scullin joins us live with the answer after learning more about the treatment facilities and our water supply. Karen, what did you find out? Well, it's pretty good news, actually. With all the water in the Mississippi and our treatment facilities, which are in pretty good shape, I'm told it's almost impossible for us to have a water crisis like they do in Jackson. A severe water crisis in Jackson, Mississippi, is leaving residents wondering when things will be normal, when they can grab a glass of tap water again. But in Minnesota, an emergency like that is highly unlikely. Many of the communities here in the metropolitan in the metropolitan area have done really a great, great job in uh, having a backup system or an emergency uh, system that can provide services uh, even if they lose their original system. At St. Paul Regional Water Services, the pipes are pushing through water from the Mississippi. It's treated and distributed to St. Paul and the surrounding area. And they say everything is in good shape, planning years ahead to keep it going and flowing like it should. We have 10-year plans all the way out, looking decades down the road. What needs to be replaced? What, what needs to be looked at? What do we need to, to look at updating or upgrading? And then they budget for that accordingly. So unlike Jackson, the infrastructure remains strong. Waleem says projects to improve infrastructure are ongoing. And like anything else, sometimes you just have to replace it. You know, you want to fix your old car before you need to fix your old car. And if you need to get to the point where you're needing to buy a new car, that's what you need to do. And that's what we do here. And as far as supply, the Mississippi probably won't go low enough to ever impact St. Paul or Minneapolis. As for the suburbs who use groundwater, we're in good shape there too. We're in a good position because of, of, of the abundance of the resources that we have in the metro area. We have rich uh, surface water systems. We have rich groundwater systems. And, and that's, that's very unique for many in comparison to many places around the country. Now, an interesting note, water usage at the St. Paul plant anyway has actually significantly dropped over the last 10 years or so, even as the population grows. And that's due, they say, to conservation products like low flow toilets and shower heads. We're live in St. Paul, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.